this video we are going to see how to calculate number of teeth for epicyclic gear train. That is epicyclic gear train. If a particular element the number of teeth, by using diagrammatical approach, how we can calculate in the video. So before going to that, let me explain with the small example. So let me consider a sun and planet gear alone. The gear A which is acting as sun and the gear B which is acting as planet. And there is a internal gear which is having mesh with B. So let me consider later. So here we know that the diameter is directly proportional to number of teeth. Gear on the diameter is the number of teeth proportional. The gear on the diameter cells are the number of teeth are the diameter cells are the number of teeth in the diameter. And diameter is nothing but two times of radius. That is also directly proportional to number of teeth. So radius is directly proportional to number of teeth. So if we can form the equation in terms of radius, we can convert into the equations in terms of number of teeth. The diameter and number of teeth are directly proportional. By using diagram, we can form the equation by using diameter or radius. Diameter which will radius which you. Now, end up on the equation form from the diagram. If we can form the equation in terms of radius, and we know that radius and teeth, number of teeth are directly proportional. So, radius which equation form from the diagram. And the equation, number of teeth equation end up on the equation. Convert panu video. So now come to the example problem. So here let me take number of teeth of gear A is 20 and number of teeth of the C is the outer gear. Number of teeth of B is equal to 12 and number of teeth of C what we have to how can we can find? And let me redraw again that is the gear C. And there is a center sun gear, A. And there is a planet gear, B. And if it is a center point, this one is radius of A. This one is radius of B. And this will be the distance of radius of C. Radius of C is nothing but, and this one is radius of A. And this one is Diameter of B. So, radius of C in the radius of A by you, diameter of B by you, Kutuna critical distance in the radius of C. So, radius of C is equal to radius of A, diameter is the two times of radius. So, two times of radius of B. Is the equation from the diagram in terms of radius. Radius are used for the form of the equation. And we know that radius and number of teeth are directly proportional. So we can simply convert like that. Tc is equal to Rc equal to Tc, Ra equal to Ta, Rb equal to Tb. So now we can form the equation by using number of teeth. Then I will form it again. This will be the distance. Ida enna apna distance radius of C. In the distance enna apna radius of A. In the distance in the diameter of B. So radius of C in the radius of A plus diameter of B, radius of A, diameter of the two times radius, two times of radius of B. So from the diagram, we can form the equation in terms of radius. Once we have formed the equation using radius, we can simply convert the equation into the equation in terms of number of teeth. So this is a simple example problem. Now we can go here. Now come to the real case problem. So here there is a gear, sun gear named A and there is a compound gear B and C. So initially we are going center lower gear figure. then that is A and another gear having meshing with A is C and C and B are compound gear. So center lower the sun gear name A, the sun gear is the center lower gear. This is the planet gear. Yeah, in the planet gear, the rotate. At the same time, sun gear is the same. Rotate. 
So in the planet gear, you will call it compound gear. Compound gear the meaning in Arvina. In single shaft, there will be multi number of gears. That is one shaft, multi number of gears. In the multi number of gears, there will be compound gears. So that is the meaning of the multi number of gears. Then, at C, it is having meshing with another internal gear named E and B having mesh with another internal gear D. So, this is the given diagram. Center is the sun gear, then planet gear is the B and C, carbon gear. The two gears are the same as the two internal gears. So, this is the actual diagram. So, this is the actual diagram. Let me go to an outer gear and one lock. Outer gear in the E. This is radius of E. If the radius of E is applied, there is a division. Then, there is a division. Then, there is a division. Then, there is a division. In the division, there is a division. Radius of E. This is the division. B. Radius of E. In the distance, this is the radius of B. Radius of B. So, radius of E is equal to radius of A plus radius of B plus radius of B. That is, radius of A plus two times of radius of B. That is, the equation in terms of radius. The equation in terms of number of teeth simply TA plus two times of so, if we know the number of teeth of A and number of teeth of B, we can calculate number of teeth of E. The equation la in the gear, if the number of teeth is the same, the equation is the same. This is the equation for D core equation. Formula. This is radius of D up to this and again up to this. This is the radius of A. In the dura inna apunna? Radius of B. In the dura inna apunna? Radius of C. So, radius of B is equal to radius of A plus radius of B plus radius of C. So, number of teeth of B is equal to teeth of A plus teeth of B plus teeth of C. So, once we know the number of teeth of A, B and C, we can calculate number of teeth. So, if you have an epicyclic gear problem, in the initial step, without knowing the number of teeth, we cannot go further. That is why we have a speed calculation. We have to calculate the number of teeth. So, when we have to calculate the number of teeth, we have to form radius equation. We have to form an equation in terms of radius. And then, we have to convert the equation into the equation in terms of number of t. So, radius equation form no by using the diagram. After forming the radius equation, we have to convert the equation into number of teeth equation. Then, if we have a number of teeth, TA, TB, we can calculate TE. Similarly, by using the diagram itself, we can form the equation, again we can find the unknown number of teeth. 